Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, just doing a quick update on my uh, Mossberg Maverick 88 shotgun. Uh, you know, I got it. I uh, actually went ahead and uh, dirt coated it, uh, and I got it all finished up and everything. Uh, not haven't shot it yet. Uh, gonna not shoot it and then at least let it have the three week uh, cure time that they recommend to give it the, the hardest uh, strength that it can be, basically. Uh, I use the, the shake and spray Duracoat. Uh, first time using the product, uh, uh, shake and spray, and also just Duracoat in general. Uh, I think it came out pretty decent uh, for me being my first time and never doing anything or never doing a Duracoat job before. Uh, of course, some of the stuff you know I messed up on, like on the barrel on the top here, uh, like, like where the Duracoat. Uh, like I must have went a little too close or something or put too much on and the Duracoat kind of uh, ran ran down the barrel a little bit and uh, but that's my fault other than that uh, I think so far the product's uh, you know a win for me in my books uh, it's a lot tougher I think than uh, spray paint you know you can just tell just by feeling it it doesn't you know feel like it's cheap in any way it's Feels like it's pretty hard uh, coating. Uh, the colors I used was uh, cooler green and also marsh. Marsh is this cream color. Uh, it looks a little lighter on camera or you know in the video, but uh, it's actually a little creamier uh, color. It's pretty nice. And then uh, uh, the cooler green I used in the pistol grip, the trigger assembly, the foreign here, the pistol grip foreign, and also the heat shield. I chose these colors mostly just because they're unique, and I thought, uh, well, mostly the green uh, was unique. I wasn't trying to be camouflaged or nothing. So let's, uh, kind of why I chose those colors, just to be unique, you know. Something that, you know, you go out shooting and, uh, you know, somebody comes up and, you know, with something like this, you can see clear as day, you know, the suit looks unique, you know, and they'll kind of catch their eye and stuff. I thought that would be kind of cool, but uh, who knows, uh, just, you know, conversation piece, you know, uh, so yeah, I mean, I think it came out pretty good in my opinion, uh, I think it looks good, uh, in my opinion, of course, uh, it's going to vary, some people are going to love it, some people are going to hate it, or everybody has their own opinions, but, uh, yeah, I even did the, uh, uh, forget the correct term on it, like the elevator bar or whatever they call it, I forget. Uh, but, you know, it's where they, they loads up the shells up for, from the uh, magazine tube. But, uh, yeah, I did the, the bolt face. Uh, I didn't, or not the face, but the side of it. I didn't do any of the other inside, uh, you know, because I figured of the bolt or anything. I figured you're not going to see it for one or two, uh, you know, with the parts rubbing against each other. It's just going to wear off anyway, so I mean, why even bother doing it? So, now here's the other side. Which basically looks exactly like the other side. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that would kind of look cool with the green and then that marsh color coming through the, uh, you know, the holes of the heat shield. So yeah, uh, I recommend the product so far. I mean, of course, after the uh, three-week uh, cure time in the Duracoat, uh, and after I put some rounds through it and see how, how it holds up and holds up in the long run, uh, we'll see. But it uh, seems like it's pretty tough. And uh, and I highly recommend it. Uh, so, of course, uh, if it holds up nicely and stuff, I got a few other guns that uh, I'm not real worried about as far as, you know, your dirt coat losing the value on stuff that, you know, doesn't really make a big deal or not uh, if you dirt coat it, you know, in my opinion at least. Uh, of course, if I think, you know, dirt coating a certain firearm is going to drop the value where I think it's going to matter, then I'm not going to do it. You know, like none of my Glocks, or well, well, the only one I got now, but, uh, you know, I won't ever dare call my Glock or, you know, HK or none of the other guns like that. I'll probably do, like, my AR, which, you know, to me, ARs, it's not like a, I don't know, but it's not a big deal, I don't think, to, in my opinion. And, uh, 
you know, probably a couple other guns out there go too, probably my AKs and stuff, since they're not really a gun that uh, will ever be really valuable or anything. And there's so many, you know, of them, you know, around, so I figured it's not a big deal. And, uh, but anyways, this is my uh, guinea pig gun to try it out and see how, you know, the product works and everything. And if it's uh, A-OK, -okay, then I um, have many more to, to do. All right, well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, go ahead and send me a message. Have a good one. Bye.